your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the program. We're on TV. Once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines. And then we start talking for an hour. It's Saturday, and we're here on the couch again, as you can see over to the side. Where's Coral? I think he's going to be here sometime today. And throughout the program, I think we'll call, make some calls. We'll check some messages. I bet Carl will tell us something about his thing. We'll play the dice game. We'll look at a commercial from last year. We'll learn something about the, the show itself and this and more. Maybe we'll call other people. Sometimes I, I start off the show and I say, I used to you know do the show here on the couch like this and we would just start going with it and there would not be a thing. But now I would say, turn and say, how are you doing today? But I mean, it's going to have to happen in a little bit. Oh, I didn't even plug this thing in. You know, sometimes I think I should plug things in before we start the show. And not after, but maybe we also sometimes people think that we should wait. But let's, let's get right into it because we got actually got a message from Carl. So let's hear this voicemail. I don't know what the voicemail is going to sound like. Hey, uh, I just wanted to say I saw something on the street that was kind of interesting. Namely, uh, myself. Uh, I guess it was a year ago, and I keep on saying um and uh, uh -huh. on uh, a year ago uh, program of, I guess maybe not quite a year ago, but anyway, uh, uh, let me take a look at that uh, video if I can't get to it. Um, it was, uh, um, an episode featuring, um, me on, uh, episode 1244, The Carl, uh, and I just, I kept on saying, um, a lot, and I don't know, it's, you don't uh, know? I'm, uh, one of my friends at, uh, uh, a support group that I routinely go to, a number of them, uh -huh. actually. He yeah. says, Carl, you've grown so much. I'm so proud of you. And I guess proud that is you. true. Uh, I'm going to probably have to listen to this voicemail um, on the program to know whether or not I'm actually saying um and ah uh too much. Or you probably I'm are speaking more on cue. Uh Whoa, like right there. Yeah, uh, my brain is, I guess, working slower than my mouth, which I guess I could have a 286 or a 386 brain. Ouch. Oh, well. Um, see you later, <laughs> um, Kenny. Bye. Those are Intel Pentiums just for the viewers at home. I think when you say um and uh a lot... <laughs> I think that means that your mouth is moving faster than your brain, not the other way around. Is your brain was moving faster than well, your I mouth, then dyslexic. you wouldn't have time for the uhs. You said um a lot in the message. You're like, <laughs> I say um like too much. Um, Carl, I'm so proud of you. You've grown so much. Do I say um too much? Um, because sometimes I think I say um a lot. Um, yeah, ums are. Not Holy cow! Little yeah. Silly words. Uh. So I, I just watched after I taped that. I just watched uh, episode uh, six hundred 
83 or something. It was taped on, I guess, uh, August 1st, 2012. Either August 1st or it, it says August 7th on, uh -huh. on, on the YouTube. So, But I think it was uploaded on August 1st. And it's just like, wow. That was like three years ago. That was like, I believe, my first program that I've been on the program. Oh, wow. And it was like, uh, I was uh, almost like I didn't need m much of a character building. So some of the stuff that I was talking about seemed to be really dated, but I, I was like, uh, being my kind of like goofy self, um, I, 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 um. I didn't know that I was actually, you know, that I was actually kind of somewhat almost had your daily hour with me almost d down within the, the first episode. You did. Of the program. And so I'm. I'm I knew know. when I saw you on the screen that one time. Oh, shit, man. I was like, this guy is the program. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, okay. Either or. I mean, that's that's good. I, I'm, I'm glad that... You're natural. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you tolerate my jokes sometimes. No. Uh, no, you don't. No, no jokes. No. No tolerance. <laughs> You're a natural, though. You your first day. Yeah. So you've been watching old archival episodes, huh? Uh, well, just, just, yeah, just that one and, and, like, uh... Uh, whatever the program title that I, I cited on uh, 10,044 something like that and it was like wow that, that this is this is actually pretty interesting that you, you know even when I go way back far um, trying to see how far I've <laughs> how far I've gone or, or whatever uh -huh. it, it's 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 so good though I I'm not trying to stroke my ego too much if that comes out a little bit weird, um, three years from now, I'm sorry, Carl. That's just what I had to say. <laughs> yeah, you better. Are you better than you were then? <laughs> Who knows? You, uh, ho well, hopefully, I'm still think? growing. Are are, am I, are we still growing, Carl? I I, I so, so sometimes I say Carl. I uh, Bird was on the program as well with us, uh -huh. and he was like actually Carl. He was like. Carl, no negative talk about your no um, bad talk about yourself or oh, I think or that's okay. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's almost like a, a, I had kind of like almost a rhythm about the program uh, from day one. You're a natural. So yeah, Freddie was like uh, he. he you know, was excited to hear about me or something. So yeah, I was like, um, I don't know if I met met Freddie beforehand. I probably did, since you know he was like, Carl, I'm great to hear that you're on the program today. Blah blah blah. You know, it was like, or whatever that was said. It was like, um, that it was. It's all kind of. Interesting. I'm. I'm sure that anyone that watches like material that's like three or four years old, of uh, like uh, old Mash reruns or you know Elf or Cheers or something. It's like that's like 25 years old. Yeah. Well, they're like, hey, I remember that when it was like on network TV instead of reruns. Um, yeah. I. I. Although I didn't watch that episode when it aired I had to watch it you know within the last hour but it's still pretty good yeah it's still pretty good so I'm, I'm, I'm down I'm down with the next four years or whatever hey hey you commit commit <laughs> uh, okay <laughs> if that doesn't sound too overzealous I don't I don't want to be mistaken to be an overzealous person. I'm, I'm just mellow. Right? Good. Yeah. <laughs> you see uh, street stuff there? Uh, the street stuff. It's more like what I saw in terms of 
w- with me and my parents and whatnot. So uh-huh. I got this three ring binder and I was putting art in it. And my parents are like, you know, you know, hey, this is pretty good stuff, Carl. You know, but we also like your parents are like, Carl, your art is bad. <laughs> well, yeah, th- they were actually like saying, Carl, we also like your tomatoes. And I'm like, oh. Because w- what I saw in the tomatoes. Proud of you, Carl. Well, th- yeah, Those Carl. Those are good looking tomatoes. You've grown so much. Um, you're but- a grown man now, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Carl, you're, you're my son and you made tomatoes. <laughs> So my I, son painted tomatoes. Th- there are parts of the tomatoes. Maybe I mentioned of uh, like a week or a week and a half or whatever when when Dan was on the program. That uh, it bothers me that you know the the the, um, the close you know when, when I put when, when I try to get detail out of the picture, it takes. Uh, a line from the tomato and it goes into the vine and back into the tomato it's like it makes the vine look like it has moss on it or or something and uh-huh. so I, I i told my parents about this but they didn't really you know they still want to see like something that's small stuff and have like a range of items and details you know like uh um, seagulls and, and tigers and um, you know I uh, so I brought some of that stuff with me right now but I was just like uh, um, I was uh, just oh it's so hard to try not to say um but anyway um, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was just like okay uh, oh I, uh. <laughs> so, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all count because all me is a thing. Yeah. What about, uh, is that a, uh, I, I was, you know, just, you know, well, it's like, um, you know, too, it's you know? like another, uh, yeah, it actually, is. yeah, um, oh, <laughs> my parents were like, uh, uh, Carl, you need to have some detail in, in your, you know, like close up imagery and I was like well you know landscapes are kind of like I guess where I'm supposed to be at right now as a person as an artist as, as a hey, your parents human being you and want you to do change your art well not change my art just have a variety of a range of different stuff and I guess I'm just gonna have to uh, uh, take another look at maybe doing art that you could find on a coffee table oh, yeah. or a kitchen table. Your parents want you to conform. Well, n- not not necessarily no, conform. No, Dad, my arm is no, not they, 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 lo- they, <laughs> they love that I'm doing animals and they love that I'm doing ans- landscapes or um, illustrations of buildings, but they want me to kind of diversify a little bit. Carl, you need to diversify. You need to diversify your financial portfolio or you know, artistic portfolio, or you know, whatever. Uh, not, not that they. Uh, uh, well, not that. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'll, I'll have to change that, Mike. Diversify your portfolio. Whoa! Oh, oh man! <laughs> uh, yeah, not that they uh, were. Well, actually, my dad was a farmer's insurance agent for like Don't, uh, a uh, couple of years. Song, yeah. he, you know, he didn't really like the work, so he went back to his substitute teaching. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not really uh, too much of a fan of. Uh, finance and insurance and whatnot, and so financial portfolio is kind of like. But they they told me that I that they they wanted to have a little bit more diversity in my portfolio, and so they they probably have some perspective, some insight in, into what 
what is appropriate and what not. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to uh, hit up morgfile.com and, and see what pictures, reference pictures I could find of bookshelves and whatnot and probably have to satisfy that so-called need before I start taking this um, uh, portfolio of mine out maybe this coming Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to Koibito uh, and their tofu, so check that out in the next coming upcoming episodes whether or not Carl likes tofu at all. Have you had tofu before? Uh, I have, uh, at least in some capacity, but I didn't really get to it as 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 quickly as I bought it, so it kind of went stale on me. And then, when things go stale, especially with a um, important expiration date as the oils or whatever that's in um, uh, tofu, it just it's kind of baddish, like, which I guess is okay for a um, starving animal or, you know, human being or whatnot, but uh, it's certainly not uh, good uh, in terms of uh, uh, if you want tofu that's semi-cooked or, or I don't know how... how well, I should just roll the dice, so... I'm going to roll the dice. Tofu! Yeah, but I'll look for tofu in the next week for me to eat. It's good they fry it up. We're playing the dice game. I got out a pen. We're running numbers down our hand between one and six. We're writing numbers down our hands. We're trying to think about the family. And we're trying to manipulate the multiverse a little bit. Yeah, there they are. The family. Oh, Zilger. Zilger. Hi, Zilger. You have 500 points. Uh, how are you doing today, Zilger? Uh, I I am on Team Wanda today. Call the Nepetha down there. Let's see. Yeah, Wanda. Uh, there you are. Wanda, we're gonna we're gonna do it today. Is that is that okay with you? <laughs> How can you left the you left the message? You said, or you said you were gonna see street stuff, but uh oh. What the heck? Oh oh oh! Dang it! <laughs> I I messed up the computer. Um, uh, um, sorry, Houston. We lost our power for the the moment. Yeah, for the we'll, phone. We'll be right back as soon as we can get our systems available. Like you had something you were, <laughs> you're going to forget. We, we've got a dial tone in, in the office right now. I've hang got on, hang on a second, viewers. You left a message. Yeah, I you were, did. You were watching the, how many episodes have you been watching? <sighs> Just two. Just two of the yeah, old ones? The, the, uh, the, the very first one, 684 or 3, 683 if did I'm you, not did, mistaken. And you saw you, the yeah, very first one you were on? recorded on August first and we were all talking about arts walk and and the mm. thing, thing with uh troy fisher the unitarian um um uh kidnapping guy director yeah the, the, uh he was drugged or something crazy yeah something yeah uh when he's been released of all charges you, you know two different forensics analysts of computers it's just like I, I can't even believe that that was like three years ago. It seems wow, like that. Things like only yesterday. I, yeah, or the, uh, uh, my seem in my mind that it's uh, uh, 
that you know things are actually older than they appear or or something like that or as i as i remember it you know i was like okay 2012 i would have thought that that was you know the thing with troy fisher was like Two years ago, not three years ago, or uh, three years. I, I guess it all works out when it's on videotape. It's like, yep, uh, apparently that was three years ago. Cause yeah, I was talking about it. It, it serves as a memory. Some as yeah, collective memory. Do you remember that stuff? Because I don't remember that stuff. There's a lot of stuff back there. <laughs> it kind of makes people exhausted. Like, I was just exhausted right there. Why? Because, you know, thinking about time. Oh, like, yeah. It's like, so... I can see what you mean. Uh, you, you, you're, like, exha- exhaling from all of the spent energy, the, the oh. two or three years, and all the fatigue that people would probably go through. Uh, Remember the past? Yeah, I had this weird cough, apparently. Kept on turning my head. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Which you should turn your head or cough into your elbow or something like that. But uh, yeah, um, during August, I had a cough during August. Unbelievable. Awesome possum. Thought I was just trying to get through. I thought it was live. Bag I get you rock on, man. I'll catch you every once in a while. I love the dog, love everything. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is, but... Catch you by everything. Awesome possum. Awesome possum. Hello? Hello, it's the program. Hello? Hey, what's happening? We're on TV. Oh, we are right now? Yes. Once a day of oh. day, we turn what's on the machines. Yeah, we're, 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 we're... And we start talking. You've been watching the show? For an hour. I, uh, I try to watch it every now and again. Sweet, if thank you. When I come home late. Have you ever been on TV before? Uh, I have, matter of fact. Why? Why was I on TV? Yeah. Uh, I was, uh, at, I was a chef for a Major League Baseball team. What? And, uh, occasionally I, uh, I made it on TV. What did you cook? Anything they wanted. What did you cook on TV? Uh, ahi tuna. Ooh, was that, how'd, you, how'd you cook it? On a grill. Oh, making me hungry. It's like the, uh, you, you, you plated it up for TV like a TV chef? Uh, we tried to do it back that when I was down in L.A. for a little while, but, um, no, I just, uh, did private work. Now I'm back home in Olympia. Good. We're, we're here with Carl, too. You know Carl, right? I know Carl. Oh, gosh. Yeah. My, my uh, fame supersedes me. He's famous. The famous Carl. The infamous Carl. The artist. The famous man. Yeah. Thank you. So what number show are you guys doing right now? What number are you on? Uh, what day is it? It's the 21st. It's We're on episode 1,646. Wow. That's, congratulations. Oh, thank you. You uh, guys, uh, you know Big Sam, too, right? What? Sam, the uh, juggler Sam. Sam Miller. Yeah, bounces wheelbarrows and things like that. He's a buddy oh, of mine, yeah. too. He's been on recently, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see him every once in a while. Oh, yeah, you're watching the 2 a.m. episodes, huh? Yep, yep, those yep. Are, those are the more popular ones by far, I think. By far. You know, hey, I hate to cut you guys short. I really appreciate your call, but I was just getting ready to walk out the door. All right. Well, thank you for calling. Hey, will you call me back sometime, anytime? Well, you you call us, and then we'll call you back. Sounds like a deal. All right. Keep watching, and thank you. Bye. Thank you. Peace what's, out. what's your name? Derek. Derek. All right. Thank you. Bye. People just call me Cozy. Cozy. That's it. Oh, have we talked to you before? Uh... I've left a message before in the past. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember your name, Cozy. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank, yeah. You, thank you, bye. Late. Cozy. I remember that name. It's a very unique name. So. It's yeah, so I I did a little bit of uh, counting research. I looked on the, your Daily Hour with Me calendar, and I wanted to find out when would be, like, 1,683 
and that episode is uh, the last April uh, of this year. And you, you the, know, the last April? The last, the, yeah, the last April Monday of this oh. year. You know, with uh, um, on on the show with Dan. So. And then what is that? That's the ten eight. 1083 um, and what about it uh, that that's a lot like um, uh, 683 uh, 1683 is like uh, uh, 1000 episodes after my first initial uh, oh program. okay so I was like uh, ha- gonna you know say happy on uh, 1,000th episode. <laughs> to, to you, but you weren't there on the first well, day of the No, I wasn't on the full, you know, 1,000 episodes since that point, but, you know, I... That's actually pretty crazy, though. I that's... could s- still celebrate, you know, uh... Because uh, I remember that when we did episode 1,000, were you there for episode 1,000? Yeah. We were in the um, gazebo, gazebo. gazebo there. Yeah, I, I checked that out for a brief moment. And that seems like a long time ago. I'm surprised that the program went so, for so long oh, before you were there, even though. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, well, we were in a um, um, certain garage at, at some location somewhere. <laughs> Secret garage. Secret garage. It's a bat cave. And, and so we were just like, you know. Uh, Batman. And uh, that was pretty cool. I was, you know, I was kind of digging the so so called overall history of YDHWM. Mm. You know how things kind of played out. I think Freddie wants to hear about this too. Hey, program, it's Freddie. Um, when you get this, I'm probably at the beach, but you can Ooh. try to give me a call. Beach, huh? Um, wanted to tell call and tell you about um, some stuff. There's some production and stuff. Uh, you know, today is the 21st of March, um, and in 2011, we don't have the episode for March 21st. We what? don't have the episode for March 22nd either. Oh, man. I don't know where this went. Um, I've Uh-oh. been looking on some hard drives, and I can't seem to find them. <laughs> so this is like two of the missing episodes. Um, wow. Let's see. The episode before the one that's missing was uh, 183, which is a Sean Sunday. And then one directly after is 186, which is the episode where the, that guy Grant came on and brought his HD camera onto the show. So oh, yeah. um, that, that's the spot where it's missing, you know. And mm-hmm. it's actually it's in our... Um, the original studio, if I remember correctly, is it the original studio? Yeah, yeah, definitely the original studio. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I was calling about. Um, we also got some new uh, comments from someone on the Friday YouTube channel, uh, the big Friday, Friday the 13th episode. Um, someone named Asia Mackey says, "Nice meeting you, Carl and Rick." Asia. And also, all right, you guys rule. Both on 1637, Friday the 13th episode. Um, dog wearing hat, still reviewing our uh, music stuff. I saw someone trying to throw up um, downtown outside of our house. And this morning we found a silverfish bug in the freezer. Oh, yeah, listen to the end of this message even if, if he didn't answer. Asia. From Canada. That yeah, was interesting. <laughs> Hello? Hey. hey. It's Daily Hour. How are you doing? Are you yeah. on the beach? Yeah, we're at the camping spot. We've got a campfire. We got some clams. We roasted them up. Kirsten did a really good job cooking these clams. And uh, sitting around the campfire with a ukulele and um, just kind of hanging out. You're eating the clams right out the beach? Right out. Well... You get them, you got to kind of go through a process where you have to um, cut them apart and clean them and then uh, roast them. But, yeah, pretty much, you know, we got them on the beach, took them to the campsite, and uh, ate them up. Wow. 
Um, is, uh, is it cold and windy and stuff? Mm. It's a little chilly, but I'm just in a t-shirt and a hoodie right? wow. and a hat right now, so not too bad. It was kind of rainy earlier, but um, it stopped raining, and it's really nice, actually. It's beautiful. The sky's clear. I can look up and see the stars. Beautiful night. Carl, Carl watched his uh, original episode. Whoa, really? Very you, first that, episode. Uh, August, How do you know it was the very first episode? Well, we were talking about Lake Fair. It was August 1st, 2012. Uh, Kenny asked me whether or not I've been on the show uh, on TV before. Oh, yeah? You, you know, various tell tale signs that, you know, hey, uh, Carl, you've never been on the shore. Welcome. And I was like, oh, yeah, thank you very much. It's I good to be here. And I was just kind of cracking jokes how even did, uh, yeah. back then. I was how did like, you know that it was going to be that episode, though, when you were trying to find it? Well, well I was basically typing in on, on a variety of numbers and just calling, kept on going backwards and forwards and, until I, I uh -huh. fell on, on the, you know. Um, that one. Well, it was titled um, uh, um, sometime, Carl Sometime or Sometime Carl or, or whatever. And so that was like a, somewhat of a giveaway. But I was like, man, Carl, you've grown so much. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I'm proud of you, Carl. <laughs> um, what, you saw somebody vomiting, Freddie? Mm, you know, we didn't actually get to see them vomit, actually, but they were... Um, they were look. They were doing that thing where you make that sort of noise where you're about to do that. Um, like he's like kind of leaning over and going. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> but he wasn't actually getting anything to happen, and he was standing really close to these cars, um, and it was right out in front of the uh, what is that? The Washington Center. The performing uh, arts. Uh-huh. And uh, so I don't know what that was about. Maybe he partied too hard or something. Yeah. Take it easy, guy. You're kind of reminding me of that SNL skit where uh, someone would throw up and someone else would throw up watching this someone, first someone throw up, and it kind of yeah. created a domino effect. So th then you... Did it's you kind of funny how that actually, I mean, I, even just listening to him do that, I was a little bit... Yeah, it like I know. Didn't make me want to. Didn't make me like even close to doing that. But it definitely kind of gave me that feeling where I'm like, ooh, my t stomach is turning a little bit. Yeah. Did you say that uh, you went outside and you saw it? And there's something too, or we were coming back from. Uh, there was a show we went to, and coming back in the evening, we were walking back to the house, and that was what we saw. You saw the vomit. Uh, the side of the street. Yeah. So the he, guy trying to bomb. He so he did it. Eat. Oh, well, I don't know. He didn't. He didn't succeed while we were watching, but probably, probably did eventually. Yep. Did it look like uh, sweet and sour sauce? Yeah. <laughs> didn't look like anything. It, he was. He hadn't gotten any out yet. So. Fair um, enough. I should have gone out and looked at it after this morning, but I didn't <laughs> think of that. I don't think you should have. <laughs> stay. I stay away from that stuff. Yeah. Kirsten, Kirsten told him to go puke somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Yelled it, you know. <laughs> you, can't, you can't really control that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, True. you can a little bit. I usually, I think, you know, I, I haven't puked in a long time. But if I do, I usually make yeah. it to a, the the place where you're trying, or, where it's appropriate. Right, yeah. But you that's can. fine. I think, I mean, if that guy was just out, outside, he didn't think anybody's watching, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably kind of internally focused for sure. Yeah, so maybe it was appropriate enough for him to vomit there. Yeah, I didn't think it was bothering anybody. It's, it, it's probably fine. It rained a lot, so. Yeah, that's good. You know, that's the beauty of this town. It washes the rain washes away all the problems. Yeah. Can you imagine these where it just never rains? All that stuff would just cake on and. Oh, don't uh, even go there. Gross. Thank you, rain. Yeah. Oh man, I can't I even. I love I, you, Rain. Yeah, that that's pretty gross. I never thought about that that too much. Like Vegas. 
Yeah. I think Vegas has a lot of vomit and very little rain. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. That's yeah. True. Fire hose time. Fire hose time. Mental floss. Yeah. Floss that uh, in my head. How's the production end going? Well, it seems to be good. We got a lot of stuff turned in at TCTV. Um, got a lot of stuff scheduled out. Everything scheduled out to go through, I think, uh, Tuesday of next week with um, the, maybe even Wednesday on YouTube. I'm not sure. I can't remember exactly. Um, so. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little bit of time when I get back tomorrow to do it. And then on Monday, I'm going straight to that training. But I think we should be pretty good. And maybe if uh, they get, you could drop some of those things off in the drop box. So then when I get back, it would be all uh, all ready to go again. You're going to be back tomorrow? Mm hmm From the beach. we got one more clam dig on in the morning. So I'm going to do that and then head back. Okay. How many clams did you catch? I think seven, maybe. Wow. Eight. Maybe, I think seven, because uh, the limit is 15 per person. We had a whole bunch of people with licenses, but um, we were just kind of trying it out. It was not the, the really good bow tide. We just wanted to see how we did, so. And they're tasty? Mm-hmm. Really well done. They cooked them with onions and garlic. Wow. And olive oil with some pepper and... Um, I don't know, Kirsten made them up. They're really good. I don't know what else there is in, but they're really good. good. Well, throughout this phone call with you, Freddie, I'm like, should I be sick or should I not be sick? Should I be <laughs> uh, trying to eat well, or clams. should I be trying uh, to throw up? Tasty food? I don't know, man. People you, you vomiting. Eat, yeah, tasty food or, you know, the whole part where you're trying to cut up in the inside of a clam and clean it out. That's kind of gross, but, you know, you get used to it. Good. It's all part of nature and life. Yeah. 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 The, oh, that's not oysters. There's no pearls and clams, huh? No pearls and clams. That's right. All right. All right. Well, hey, thanks, Freddie. You got anything else you want to say? You see anything on the beach or? Hmm. No. We got told not to um, clam earlier by someone on the beach. We saw Kirsten thought that a lot of people were looking at us weird. And um, I just kind of dismissed it. I thought they were just, you know, normal people turned out that there's only a very specific amount of like periods of time when you're allowed to clam and they're the weekend they're, like the mornings and so we were actually the only ones climbing on the beach and it was uh not allowed so finally someone came up and told us that we were about ready to go home any or go back to the campsite anyway but uh we were a little surprised about that but it also made sense why there was no one else clamming mm. and why we were getting weird looks but yeah. Great. That's cool. something I saw on the beat. All right. Thanks, Freddie. Thank you, program. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, you're not law enforcement. You can't. Well, maybe you can't. You can't tell me what to do. Maybe they could. I'm not sure. Now. Now it's info time. You're watching your daily hour with me. It's a hyper, hour long hyper live call in television talk show that's recorded every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 on the leap years. White HWM began in September 19, 2010. It tapes a week in advance. So if you're watching this on TV at 11 30 p.m. on Channel 22, this episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m., this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a, a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode when we call your you back. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Welcome back to the non-info um, time hour of the program. Here's the last message. Guess who? Uh, Mr. Gins. What the fuck over? <laughs> yeah? Is that all he says? That's all he says. Mr. Ginsu, what are you doing? Why are you saying that stuff? Uh. Look for over. 
Mr. Gensu, we're on TV. How are you doing today? I'm um, doing. That's waiting for my good. plants to grow. <laughs> You're waiting for plants to grow. It takes a long time. Fuck me, man. I got 10, 15 days to go. I don't know, 20 days, another month. Is it watching like paint dry? Mm, what? Is it like watching paint dry? Oh, I never really watched paint dry. That's good, because I hear it's pretty boring. I always painted and then left. Yeah. yeah, that's what I think you're supposed to do. I think watching paint dry is not the right way to dry paint. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Most of it's not good to breathe anyway, so you just don't want to be hanging out there. Yeah. Unless there's something to do. There's always something else to do rather than to watch paint dry. I've seen paint dry. I've seen paint dry. Or watching plants grow. And hopefully you have other things to do. I learned some shit today. Yeah? What's that? I learned you're not supposed to yank all the leaves that go yellow off your plant. Uh, yeah. Growing 101. Well, with these particular ones, you're not supposed to because it takes the stuff out of the leaves that are turning yellow and it sucks it into the plant and makes it make THC. Who told you that? I learned it on the computer. On the internet? You watch it? You have the internet now? Uh, per se, no. No? Well, you go, are you, yes, no. Uh, go to the library. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> It's all hush hush. Using, we understand. Isn't the internet at the library? <laughs> I know you hang out at the library. Same to work. Oh, you hang out in your car. Or you, using the, you just use their Wi Fi, right? You just drive to the library and then sit in the parking lot. Go right in there. Use their fucking computer. They got computers and everything. You go in there or you, or you just sit in your car? Why not? Why not go Why in not? there? Why not go in there? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, th I just—I th don't think that is a, is a reason to not go in there. I just thought that's what you do. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I remember you Boy. told us—you t told us some stories about sitting outside the library. Shut the fuck up. Hey, I fucking hear your fucking bitch at. What? Well, I'm sure you you can get into the library and it'll be air conditioned in a couple of months. That's exactly my point. There you go. <laughs> your point was air conditioning. <laughs> Yeah. You were I'm thinking a about mind reader. Awesome. You were thinking about it. air conditioning. Carl, you growed so much. I'm proud of you, Carl. I'm proud of you. <laughs> hey, you want to play? <laughs> you want to play the dice game? I'm proud of you, Carl. You figured it out. <laughs> what number do you want, Mr. Ginsu? What of, do you want? What? No. I want a big ass fucking bud that's white like a fucking you. Press a number. Are you you want a number? Pick a number. Six. Hello. Uh oh. You there? Oh. Six. Six. All right. Here we go. Three, two, and four. I won. I got five hundred points. And then I hear if you uh, put sugar in your. With your plant? Oh! <laughs> Carl's knocking over stacks. You gonna put like sugar? molasses or sugar? Yeah, like like table sugar. I'm not totally sure about the table sugar, but molasses they were using, and uh, possibly table sugar. And you uh, water your plants with that, and you get either tastier, better nugs, and so much more. It turned white. <laughs> Great. Um, there's those little pieces of oil that come up off the off the leaves. Uh, okay. It, the leaves weep, and then all that stuff is the good stuff. <laughs> well, Mr. Gintu, you're not supposed to make the plant cry at all. Fertilizer. Only it. Oh. The more it cries, the more it can dry out, and the more you. Good stuff you get. Good, oh, good. See. You, uh, you it's see. It's a job. It likes to do that. Oh, I see. Okay. If you'll let it. 
Well, then you show it uh, 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 the crying game and whatever. If you don't else. chop it down before it's time. Yeah. Hint, hint. Yeah. Don't chop it down before it's time. What What did you see at the library? Was there people there? Are people still reading books? There was nobody really there today. One older guy was there, and uh, everybody else just came in, dropped their books off, and left or something, mostly. Yeah. There wasn't very many people there today because we're getting very much to do, I guess. I don't know if I can. I don't know. Books? I ain't freaking. I, I don't know why people didn't come there. An off day for the library. The libraries awesome. are still around. I not like the library is the best place to go in the first place. I haven't been inside a library in a long time. What's the number two place to go? That's what I'm though? saying. Is you, it number two place to go at McDonald's? You go to the library, Carl? Uh, yeah. Probably, uh... But see, if they hadn't typed my weed, I'd have fucking internet right now. I wouldn't be in the library. Uh, it's hard to say. There's a whole bunch of fucking shit that wouldn't happen if they hadn't have fucking done that shit. Oh, shoulda, woulda, coulda. Fucking coulda. kiss my ass. Yeah. Okay. It's my. You uh, you see what? uh, you see any street stuff? You catch any more mice? Well, I plugged the hole up with some bricks. Uh huh. Is it, did that work? And I left the mouse trap on top just to make sure. And I seen just a weird freaking uh, ant. It had like a lion's mane on its little feelers. What? Uh oh. Yeah. That's it was whacked out. Just one of them, and all the other ants would like say hi to it, and then it keep going. Like, what the fuck is that? It's a mutant. I ant. thought it had like a little, a little baby fly. I thought it caught a baby fruit fly or something. It was carrying it around. Yeah. Yeah. But then I'm like looking at it real close, and fuck, them were like, it, the wings. I thought it had, it had wings out in front, but it oh. wasn't wings. It was its feelers. His feelers were like, had had crazy hair on them. Yeah, that's weird. Sticking out straight forward, kind of like wing. I wonder if you're anywhere close to Hanford. Maybe he, it wasn't carrying something. Was it? No, I thought. Like I said, I thought it had a fruit fly. Yeah. With the, with the little wings, the fruit fly has. Did you know, see, you can see them. But that then I got to looking at it, and that was the thing. That was just his feelers. Because <laughs> I got him up there eating on a piece of a uh, Lucky Charm. See, yeah, one of the little, one of the little charm. Uh, they're going to town on that thing. That thing's black. You can't even see the Lucky Charm. It's black. <laughs> you can see. You can see their. The ants covered it up. You can see their feelers though. I, I thought they were tiny. Yeah, they are tiny, oh. but you can see them. And they eat the whole. Did they? Is is that Lucky Charms gone now? They eat it all? No, but they got it almost halfway gone. They got it a quarter of the way gone. And the rest of it is just there. Get, I just gave it to them this morning. But it's like one one piece. Yeah, there's one Lucky Charm, and they're getting that burger. They're taking it a little bit at a time, you know. Yeah. All right. Hey, you That's wanna, all they can do. You want to you hear the commercial from last year? Yeah, go for it. All right, here we go. See if you can hear if you can hear this. Mark can hear it. Can you hear that? The music. Yep. Yeah. Your day is with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. It's a commercial. Charles talking. Uh, who's talking? Charles. Charles every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCDP Channel 22. Today, we listen to old Mr. Ginty messages. He has a lot to say about a lot of topics. We also try to make a little more phone calls. We talk to Freddie on the phone about the future and about doing things around the radio on TCTV. 11.30, 2 a.m. Check out Code 106.5. Yes, please. Thank you. No more radio. Games week. Games week. I got some more good topics, they just, best I forget about what they were. <laughs> yeah, what's your topic? Oh, that was bad, best I forget about that shit. Hey, remember when I glued 
There's dime to the table on glue day. Is it still there? It's yep. still there. I missed that day. I know what day glue day that was. was. Out oh, that was just that Elmer's glue, and it stuck pretty good. Yeah. But I poured, like, a lot of it on there. <laughs> you ever glue a quarter of sidewalk? Yeah, I have. It's it's a good time. Yeah, it's a pretty good time. You want to play the dice game? Get. Or you want to look at the, the, the dime? There it is. Under the switcher. It's it's from Glue Day. I don't remember when Glue Day was, but uh, we talked all about glue and we used that glue. That glue is lasting. I think it's lasting months since it's just that glue, a little Elmer's glue. So that's working out, I guess. Uh, what about the rats? You get you any more rats? No, I only caught that. No, not really, per se. Yep. I did call you up today. I got another one, but I'm not sure what point that was. <laughs> All right. Four all together, I think. Uh, and okay. the last one, I don't even know what the fuck he's doing. So, you taking off, Hoser, or what? Doing some other shit? Yeah, you got anything else you want to say today? Not particularly. I have other shit to say, but not really. I don't think I think on it, because that's all. You can't remember what it was? Yeah. Something like that. All right. Right, Carl? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You fucking damn straight. All right, we're going to right, we're gonna call, take some, off yeah, we're gonna call some McDonald's. Fucking call Freddy or fucking Dan. We, All right, we did, we'll, we did that. We'll call Dan. Bye. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> All right, here we, here we go. Let's call Dan. I think no, we didn't. Tough try to, crowd. Did we try to call Dan Dobler? Uh, yeah. Uh, no, uh, no, Freddy Dobler. We did. Not oh Dan. yeah. So let's call Dan Dobler. Just because we didn't have him get a hold of him too much. So. Yeah. Well, the, that Mr. Ginsu is a tough crowd, though. Ooh, why is it so tough, Mr. Ginsu? Take it easy. You can be nice. Who we call? Oh, Dan Doubler. The voicemail box belonging to Dan Doubler is full and can I accept oh. oh, hello? Hi. Hey, Dan. How are you doing? Hey, uh, I, I'm the Ocean Shores. Oh, yeah? Were you with Freddy? I, I, I'm with my sister. Oh, good. Are you, can you see the beach? Can you see the... Can Oh, hello? Yeah? Can you see the beach? Yeah. How is the beach? Fine. Did you go in there at all? Uh, yeah, I, 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 I don't come very often. I, I don't come here very often, Kenny. I, uh, I, I, I came with my sister. Good. All right. Well, uh, what, what, what do you like about the beach? Uh, uh the ocean, the ocean, yeah. and, and the uh, is to get away, get away with, get away with everything. Against you, he's calling. Um, yeah, that sounds oh. good. <laughs> Get some, uh, uh, go fishing. I, I, I saw, I saw you, I saw you secretary. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. How was she? Uh, uh great. <laughs> Good. Uh, Mr. Ginter. All right, thanks, Dan. We'll talk to you later. Uh, what? What do you want? <laughs> Fucker. You bastard. I mean, if we're supposed to call Dan. Yeah, we were calling Dan like you said. What? Oh, what? Did he hang up? Yeah, what are you doing? You're trying to mess with the phones? You playing on the phones now? No, oh, he's playing on the phones now. <sighs> uh, tough crowd. Yeah. Well, I don't know what, what we're, I guess we're going to let him leave a message this time, or something, or we'll call it one of these McDonald's. Yeah. Uh, let's see if he's going to leave a message this time. 
Oh no, he's just calling over and over and over. Playing on the phones. Quit playing on the phones. Oh, hello? What the heck? Oh. Alright, well, there it goes. Now we're now listening to the phone ring instead of the other way. Yeah. I guess the phone's ringing the other way. This is McDonald's in Sacramento, California. Well, as long as you call out, she can get calls in, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Or if it happens, it goes straight to voicemail. McDonald's! Pick up the phone! I don't know, here, let's call the next one. Oh, damn it. I don't, here, let's call. <laughs> we're calling Ginsey now. Now we're calling you! Mr. Ginsu. What the hell, bro? Are you trying to call us? Because you're probably on the other line trying to call us. What the hell? We're going to fill up your voicemail box. Oh, Calling wars? Wait, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, now, now the computer seems to be confused. Oh, I don't know what was going on, going on that time. We love confused computers here. It makes the program interesting. Yeah. Okay, and this time when he calls, I'm just going to answer it, but maybe we'll... Uh, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, there it goes. Okay. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I think you know what the fuck. You playing on the phone like a child? What are you talking about? Well, what you am I talking fucker? about? Quit playing with the phones. Oh, what, what are you talking about? What do you want? Are you, uh, uh, I was just fucking with you. Oh, uh, okay. No, okay, fuck you. Don't be fucking okay with me. Uh, excuse me, we're not in a relationship. You can't Oh, hey, it's, uh, it's, it's the end of the show, so let's play the final dice game here. We should be married if we're gonna go, do that. Go play the. F I know. You don't think it's funny? Stop! It's very funny. It's a jo it's like a joke. Calling over That's and over. Right. And over. It, ha ha! It was a joke, and I'm glad you fucking finally got it. You're fucking holy what, fuck! What a man. joke! Like, hey, hey, oh, you have six. It's one, six, four, you two, three, you four. We get it. <laughs> you won. I won. I have four. I have a two. I won. No, me and Mr. Ginsu tied. Or you have a four call? Oh, you and Ginsu and me, we all tied. Everybody's a winner. We tied. Uh, how are we tied? Dude? Thanks, yeah. Freddie. Thanks, Mr. Ginsu. Thanks, uh, Carl. Thanks for being here today. Is that everybody? Thanks, Carl. Go get yourself PC. I think that's everybody. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Thanks, Freddie. Whoa, did you draw a tiger? Look at that tiger, whoa. YHWM.com, roar. 360-361384. Crew, you guys want to crew up there, thinking if you want, though. We'll have to see more of this in the future. Whoa, it's a tiger, you up up, yeah, yeah. I hear if you're playing CCTV, Crystal Ball, the baby, Jordan E, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you. Here's listen to this hell yeah, dog. Here's only. Bye bye. Finding the power of four. Oh. Seven. Six. Oh shit. Yeah, what the heck is going on? We're on the commercial and Mr. Ginsu hung up. Ooh, after hell yeah, dog. Yeah. We get through it. We, we don't even get to the thing. We're, we have too much to say. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Carl skinned his knees. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about running. And uh, Mr. Ginsu shared an art tip for me, but I struggled to keep up. So 
anyway, uh, maybe I'll check them out. 360-364-384. Tomorrow for it. Don't call. We're boring. Or no, call. Too call. much.